And we're live. Hi, everyone. I'm Nick. And I'm Rhea. And this is Full of Brick. Brick. We are clashing today. We are clashing. So like always, Full of Brick, we're going to talk about our week first, our week on Nick's Brick Life. So just what we did. Okay. A recap. Okay. Then we'll talk. You said that it was a Filipino accent. Okay. And then we'll talk about any mocks we made or even what the boys made. Right. But, uh, Tr Tristan made a lot of the mocks. Too. I know. And then uh, any purchases. And then lastly, we'll do some Lego news. You made purchases this week? Uh, blink, blink, no. blink. Oh. <laughs> okay, here it goes. So uh, first thing, if you've been watching the vlogs, you'll notice that Tristan and I have been doing a lot of running lately. And he's actually faster than me. I don't know how that happened. Like usually, like I've only ran with him once this week. So we would do our usual four times so around the block. So you ran with Susan and Tristan. Tristan. Yes. And Susan's like our ultra marathoner kind of friend. Okay. Well, not ultra, but she's very fast. And um, so. And how was it? It was good. I mean, in the first three, you know, we were pacing with Tristan. But towards the end, like maybe the last, I don't know how to count, maybe 100 meters, he'll just put on his. His rocket boosters. His rocket boosters. And it's like those legs. Those legs that I think are just sturdy and it just propels him forward. And I can't catch up with him as soon as he puts them on. And no matter how much I'm like hopping and hopping behind him, I'm like, I'm going to catch you, you young thing. And so we're, gear, we're gearing up for cross-country season in September. Yeah, so we just want to make it feel like it's easy for him. And I know for cross-country during practices, he has to run four laps around the school. And so... Leading up, we've just been doing one lap at a time. However, last weekend we did two laps consecutive, but um, two laps twice. Two laps twice. And but then yesterday and today we did something different. Where when I took him to the school, we did one lap first, mm -hmm. and then for the second time around, we did three consecutive laps. Yes. And he didn't do any walking, and it was consistent running when I was watching him. So that's so we're good. Just upping his endurance and his stamina. So normally, so. when we were would watch him do his practice last year he'll be like struggling in the back and then he'd start walking yeah so hopefully we'll give him enough lung capacity before it build starts. it up that's really our strategy here not so much making him the fastest kid but be able to make it feel easy that he'll be confident enough to say hey i'm actually running within the masses maybe i can start running at the front of the masses well last year he was in grade five and he was the youngest because there yeah. weren't any grade five no he was the only grade five and so he was trying to keep up with all the grade sevens and eights yes so he'd run really fast at the beginning and die and then die mm -hmm. and right. now it looks seems like he knows how to pace himself because i'll run with him and i'll just take off and he doesn't try to keep up with me so he do you think towards the end of summer are you gonna increase his uh, volume his, his mileage again like maybe make it Four three times, three times twice. We'll see. We'll see you what know. we do. I might uh, gradually make it. Maybe the first one won't be one uh, one once around, but twice around. And then three rest, times. And then three times. We'll gradually increase it. <laughs> <And just> like, <laughs> we'll see. I love watching these running vlogs because it just makes me laugh at Tristan. <laughs> I feel for him. And what about Mason, when, you, when you see Mason running? Mason runs like a Toy Story character, like Woody with all these legs and limbs, and it just it's just hilarious. He to just watch. moves his limbs as fast as possible. I know. It's just. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, you're a little Terminator. But I think he's like, like inherently more of the runner. But that said, they're changing things around at a lifetime gym. What do you mean? Um, usually we're allowed to leave them for two hours every day. That's part of the daycare and their, you know, whatever is activities going so now on. It's I can only sign one hour? No, now it's three coming up oh. this Wednesday. And so far they haven't increased our prices. So we're going to go with the flow. So do you think they'll increase is, our prices? They've been increasing it to $10 a month every year now. Like I more than dollars more. It is fifteen dollars per child per month, which is great. But we're grandfathered in. We've pretty much been with this gym since. So our and prices yours. don't change. So our prices haven't changed, but every year they've been increasing our total membership to ten dollars okay. more a month, right? So it's one hundred twenty more a, ye a year. Which I'm thinking, okay, what's ten dollars divided by how many people that we have? That that's why we have to go every single day. Yeah. Nick, for two hours every single day. Are you coming with us later? Um, I want to see the the Jays. Right. So the Jays are playing today. Hey, with their hey, new hey! Pitcher. Let's talk about Lifetime first. Okay. New Jays, Lifetime pitcher, yeah. So, but they're including more activities like floor hockey, karate, gymnastics, cheer, which I think is part of gymnastics. What's cheer, cheer. Even cheer. for the boys. Even for the boys. That's cheer. It's that's ages, cheer and they have and they've uh, have categories now because before it was like ages five to eleven. That's when they can do the soccer or the rock wall climbing. So, uh, no, six to 11. So Mason's always been sort of excluded. Mason's been the older kid now of the, the baby area. But now they actually have activities for ages three to six 
and then ages from 7 to 11. What kind of activities for, from 3 to 6? So like floor hockey, same, floor hockey, karate, but they have like maybe just they're, they're grouping and lumping them among more um, like-aged And they kids. moved everything to the gym. Yeah, so they the gym. They renovated the gym? Yep, the gym that was this huge open space. So did they tear out the floors and everything? I don't know. I haven't seen. We did go to the open house. But oh. we'll see it this coming Wednesday. Because they had that floor open. I know. And now it's like closed. And it was a little bit different. Yes. And now it's partitioned to three sections. So I mm. think there's like the karate area, the dance area, and like something for creativity, like arts and crafts, language, homework, they say. So, I mean, it's better than you can leave them there like for three hours in the morning or three hours in the evening. And right now they really are developing because it is the last month of summer. They should really have had this uh, organized right before summer so that more kids have the avail availability to get more things done. But uh, otherwise, it's still a very excellent program to be part of. I mean, before I would put... Do you think they'll have this in all the lifetimes or even in the Well, we're, we're a diamond level, which is the highest level. Yeah. So it depends what club type you belong to, I think. I don't but all, know, the, I think all the ones you've seen in the States, they have that same model of the building. I know, so I don't know. Maybe definitely. all of them have probably. That. It's probably more developed in the states. That's why the curriculum for language is Spanish, which oh. is their language, not French for us, right? So that's what's coming in. So we'll see what the boys are going to be into. But that saves me from, you know, like taking them to like Mississauga Parks and Rec and like sending them up for karate or floor hockey, hmm. and it's all here. Yay! And Mason and played soccer for the first yeah, time. Yeah, so Mason's turning six next Sunday, and the girls there know him. August 9. August 9, and the girls there know him, and they know that he's, you know, pretty fast and active, and they're like, yeah, yeah, let's have him join the soccer t uh, the soccer play with Tristan and the older boys, and there's Mason who doesn't jump into situations very well, and he has, like, all this trepidation and anxiety. He's like, don't sign me up, <laughs> which is so weird because there's Tristan like, yeah, sign me up, sign me up for everything. Well, kind of. Yeah, until, he doesn't. Yeah. Until recently. Until recently. Then he's like, no. He's got a more confidence. <sighs> yeah. So anyways, Mason didn't want to get signed up. I had to take him off. But then I visited them up after I finished one exercise yesterday to see if he is interested in going, if there's enough space still for him. And he's like, yep, I'm going to go. So I don't know if Tristan changed his tune because initially she was like, yeah, we're going to be an opposite team. And I'm going <laughs> to beat you. And I'm like, dude, this is your brother. In any case, as luck would have turned out, and even when they went on the field, him and Mason were on two separate teams. Yeah. But uh, I think, you know, I think there's still the value of having Mason play with like age peers. Like all the kids were a lot older than him. So in terms of ball passing or whatever, they don't really play for sports skills. They play as a game, right? So even if he's fast, he's probably not getting enough ball time. Ah. What he thinks is ball time. So that's what's good about the oncoming programs. They have, uh, they have sports skills too. So they probably teach them how to pass, how to kick properly, and sort of like the plays for soccer or, or the rules for soccer, right, which is a, a value. Um, but, yeah, Tristan and Mason yesterday played soccer together. But when I picked them up after, Mason was still his mopey. I didn't get enough time with the ball. I'm like, dude, you're so lucky already to, like, be playing soccer. I would Tristan love to play Tristan said soccer. he just stood like a statue. Yeah, because he couldn't get the ball. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah. So what are we doing this uh, live uh, stream right now? It's Monday. It is our long weekend, our civic holiday weekend. We have a three-day long weekend. They just made this weekend up just so we can have another holiday, right? It's always been going through. It was called Simcoe Day before. Oh, Simcoe Civic. Yeah. You need at least one long weekend every four or five weeks. I don't know if they have Coffee a... For the brain. I don't think it's a week. It's a long weekend for the, the state. That's why we have zero viewers. <laughs> Everyone's at work. No, but uh, the tea fall should be... Oh, they're just waking up. They're just waking up yeah. or sleeping in more. I took I took Tristan and Mason to the gym this week too. Yeah, you did a couple of times, so that's good. Uh, and then so Tristan volunteered. Oh, he didn't volunteer. They asked me, "Does he want to play basketball?" And first Tristan said, "Yeah, see." And then I go, "Come on, come on, just play basketball." And then he, "Okay, see." So he was, uh, just be like, okay, I'll do whatever you want, Daddy. If that was me, he would totally not have to play basketball. And so when he was done, he was saying that they won 16 to 10, and he scored two baskets. I know. So, so he was all confident. He was even saying, confident, are, cocky. Are my shoes uh, basketball shoes? I'm like, no. Then why did I play so well? I don't know. <laughs> Cause you because actually you're actually played. You're one of the taller people. There. Yeah. They're no all little kids. Kidding. No kidding. Um. Oh, and there's also activities now for even Hayden. They have oh. toddler boot camp. Diaper dash. Diaper dash for ages one to three. So I don't know what they're going to make them. And, you know, there's just value in, like, having kids in something structured where they're forced to listen to to uh, commands, I guess. Go over there. Sit over there. Climb these planks. I don't know. So uh, you built something this week. I did. 
Remember? Oh the, yeah, I the, did. But then you already mocked it up. Time lapse. Oh, I did. The um, you and Tr you and Mason. Yeah, built I was. The I was. Bang theory. I was hooked into building this thing. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna build something. So how was it? How how did you like building? It was it was a quite easy build because it wasn't that big of a set. But then Mason freaked out sometime in the middle, going, "You're making too much than I am." Really? I don't know if you actually like slow down the time build, you'll actually see the part where he's like crying. <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> it is fast. And uh, but I ended up finishing it because, you know, after a while he like walks away from me and starts building some other thing off to the side. But it was cool. It's a big bang set. Where is it? And then you've already mocked it up. So yeah, I'll it's show all, it after. It's already uh, a different whole creation. But, um, but it was nice. What, I like that many... did you like? Oh, I like yeah, the bookshelves, like the little book piles. They actually okay. have the pin that goes through all these different blocks, and then okay. it tops off with just a flat piece, and then you put that in the bookshelf, and suddenly you have like a, a whole shelving of books. And you mentioned in the review you were you're building, well, you were doing the floor, and then yeah, you have studs up. there. And you're then like, you're what like, are these studs for? But really, it's like the basis of all the chairs or however they've already. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, sort of like, it's not like, build this piece and then plop it here build this piece plop it here it's like as you go through uh, that's probably how they made the instructions they were just um they must have some sort of strategy in doing the instructions yeah so it's not boring right you yeah. suddenly your brain's like oh this is what this is for so i'll, I'll show what the the big bang theory so this part half here so oh you can't see it i know i'm gonna come down now they can see my green sides. So the, I actually mocked this up, but the the area here is the original set. So this is what Maria made. So these are the bookshelves that she was talking about, and I like all these other um, memorabilia features here. Collector items. So they have action figures. Sort of like how our house is cluttered with collector items. And they have the Green Lantern. I there. like their uh, like printed. A lot of their posters are printed. They have a lot of printed elements. I don't know what I don't exactly know what this is. Is it like a static ball? One of those. I think it's what this is. A static it's ball. So all of these are like printed. Static Here's electricity. A picture of the San Francisco Bridge. They have this is a sticker on the door, but these are all. It's either a boxing pieces. ring or a wrestling ring. The uh, blackboard is a printed piece. The newspaper, like before, we've had that before, but they have like new Chinese takeout. Boxes, yeah, the, the brick the artist, AKA the brick wizard, was telling oh, me. Oh, yeah, how it is. It's a, it's a physics yeah. formula type, right? Something? I forget now. Or a but... theory. I know. We have to go back to you. And even um, the, the keyboard here for the computer, it's also a printed piece. So they have a lot, a lot of printed pieces versus just sticker pieces. So that's cool. And then Nick made the other, ver like the other part of the room. The kitchen. Which then included, yeah, the kitchen. There's a fridge. There's a stove. And then there are two dual computers, and they even have like a what's it called? A video cam. A webcam. A webcam. So it's a cool set. Lots of minifigs, seven in total, right? So it was seventy dollars Canadian. Seventy Canadian. Uh yes. Um, and then we got it a week early, which is bonus. Now uh, a lot of more people are starting to show that they already have bought the uh, Big Bang Theory set. And then I couldn't figure what these things out. I thought they were little lipsticks. I'm like, why? Why are they uh, making? So lipsticky. None of them are lipsticky. But they're, they're markers. Really markers. You know, I feel like in a friend set, aren't they lipsticks? What do you think, Nick? Uh, like, if they're markers, they should really have a cap for markers. Otherwise, your markers would dry out. What do you think? Anyhow, that's what they are. I like all the characters too. They have uh, good um, printing on their torso. Sheldon over like here. In the Flash. The Flash outfit. Is it focusing? I don't think it's focusing. It's focusing on the stuff in the background. Yeah, a yeah. flash outfit with like an undershirt, a blue undershirt, like how he wears it. Then they have Bernadette and Amy. I think Bricks actually has a different version of all the characters because he's, like, I think, mocked them out before. Yeah. So it's kind of cool if you check out his picture from his Instagram account. So um, you've been talking on the vlogs a lot about the bikini bottom challenge. Oh, I just heard the bikini.
Peachy Body Mommy Challenge. So it's oh. this mom who has like three, four kids. I don't know. After every pregnancy, she goes through like a 90-day challenge where she loses weight, but she's like every single normal person where we huff and puff through our workouts and curse in her heads probably. And, you know, like she's not like, uh, what's her name from The Biggest Loser? Nick. Jillian. She's like Jillian Anderson. Jillian Michaels. Perfect already because that woman like works out 100 hours a day. Well, she doesn't. But she's already like a, a trainer to begin with. So she is perfect physique. And she's like, come on, you guys can do it. But like with this lady, Brianna, she's regular body size woman. But I, I like it because it's like another something every day. Yeah. Like I, uh, I actually went to a circuit training at Lifetime a couple of nights ago. It was a boot camp style where there's different stations. And I was like sore for the next two days. But I like to change up my workout just to, um, I don't know, push my body. Push it. Mother. Push it. So it what day are you then? Any body challenge, technically, I should be, if it's Monday, today's now day 15, but I would tend and to it's skip. it's 90 days. It's 90 days. But I tend to, like, skip some days, depending on, like, skip, what it is. Skip the hard days. No. Because, like, if I already, like, ran at the gym for a minute, it's like a weakness to do them at night or sometimes. I, it's almost like my version of, like, the seven-minute workout, only I'm following somebody now who's huffing and puffing with me and not just <laughs> doing my own uh, thing. But it's good. Like, I mean, she's forcing me to do different moves that I otherwise won't do, like, burpees or planks or mountaineers like i can mountain climbers i can i can do all those things but self-motivated i probably won't especially i won't do it in the gym like i'll just run on a machine or climb on a machine or lift a weight you know like i'll do all those things but not necessarily pick up like uh one of those medicine ball and like smash it on the floor that's hardcore maybe i've lifted tires before like that's part of boot camp right so um so who's tonton oh so he's a family friend i don't know how this was we had a family friend who came to visit like from Edmonton. So just here this weekend because he's uh, uh, going to a, another friend of his wedding reception. And you grew up with this? I, I've known him since I was four years old. So it's a childhood friend. It's a childhood friend. And we actually have a lot of uh, childhood friends over in Edmonton. I've only been to Edmonton once. I've never been to Edmonton. They make prices through Canada too expensive. Like I was, remember how he was Meadows telling Musings me? is in Edmonton. Is right. he Edmonton? I guess so. Oh, hey, I think he's in Edmonton. But uh, we fly more to the U.S. because we have such great pricing, especially when we fly out of Buffalo. Like, I mean, I was able to go to Florida for $198 per person, taxes all included, through Delta, and that's back and forth, a return flight, right? So when Anthony really, he's saying, oh, yeah, I got a great pricing from Edmonton to here for $178. He meant one way. So you have to multiply that and then add taxes. That's not a deal. So that's expensive. That's expensive. Hmm. That's why we don't go to Edmonton. Sorry, maybe Edmontonians. He's, maybe he doesn't buy a lot of Lego, so he's rich. <laughs> so, yeah. So we want to buy Lego and travel. So we have to do, you know, we have to cut some corners. Was, is there tax in Edmonton? Edmonton? I think it's like 5%. So it's not 13 But there's, I don't think there's taxes on clothes. Oh. There's still some things. There's like Ohio. So they have a lot of clothes. They have. You don't buy anything. And there's, tax, there's tax. There's tax. Those Edmontonians are rich. Five percent tax on Lego. Yeah, which is a lot less than our thirteen percent. Um. Also on the vlogs, there's stuff about the Royal Ontario Museum. The wrong so on your we, day off. We have an annual pass, and I haven't. We taken, as in you and the we boys. and the boys because you didn't want the adult no. ticket, and my mom has the adult one because it's really for two adults and four kids. Above the age of four, under the age of 12, I think. So you have the seasons pass. How many times have you gone? So far, twice. Is that including? To, uh, the yeah. Ones, uh, yeah. So last four, last year, I had gone three times because I was off on mat leave. And it's easy enough to go, I guess. I should go more often. I just don't know why I'm not finding it time. The exhibit this year is Pompeii. Last year, it was the Forbidden City of China. Was it Pompeii even the first time you went? Or is that new? No, that's the, new. Okay. That one's new. Just, I just opened this summer, okay. right? So, I mean, the uh, pass that we get is $100 all taxes in, which is really, 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 really cheap because one ticket for an adult is $20. And to see the exhibit, because the Pompeii is a special exhibit, it's another $8. So it's $28. So if we were to go, we're six, plus each kid is $20, for the $100 for one visit. And if you have, you have to make it like worth it. So we took the subway. The boys love taking the subways. And it's actually, um, I guess, more economical. Mm -hmm. We should maybe stop buying. But I mean, I don't mind driving downtown. It's just a pain of like finding parking. Once you get to the core, it gets really tight. Like, you know, you have wonderful HOV lanes, high volume lanes on the highway. So it's easy enough for us to get downtown because I have more than two people in my car all the time. Um, but once I get to the downtown core, it's pretty congested during the summer. The Pan Am games are still going on with the para Pan. 
happening right now. And uh, parking is easily $25 yeah. for a day, let alone like, you know, they can say $25 for two hours. So by taking the subway on a weekday, the parking at the subway is $5, so not even that bad. That's and then the kids, uh, and then for an adult, uh, I think $6 back and forth downtown. So ultimately, ultimately I'm spending $10. Less on gas, less on stress. It's just a hiking up and down of the stroller. And oh, you had you and Susan had to do that. Well, yes. <laughs> so you got the taste of it last week, last last weekend. But you know, I'm interested. We have like a system. We kind of fight over the baby, but I don't know. We'll see. So I mean, Pompeii, that's that uh, Pompeii volcano. Is, that yes. So it's a erupted. city in Italy, and the volcano erupted in AD seventy nine. AD seventy nine. A long time ago. Mount volcano this very big thriving uh, society uh, cityscape then um, and it had a population of 12,000 people mm -hmm. when the incident occurred but they said that they had enough warning signs before the actual event they had a number of earthquakes which usually is an indicator of a volcanic eruption but what do people know way back then right I mean but they had such a wealthy society they showed all the different kinds of gold and different professions I saw the dog. Trade that they had yeah there was a dog in cement did you guys see that and they also had like towards the end already like just four haunting scenes. Mm -hmm. I don't think I took much pictures of those, did I? I just thought they were too. Funny. I just remember the movie. Yeah. Pompeii the movie. So this is real. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, essentially, what what's interesting is. Um, so wait, everything that was at the ROM were actual artifacts yes. from. They didn't just to, recreate them. No, no recreation. So that was this, a real dog. This yes. Wow. This exhibit actually is traveling. It came from New York already oh. to Toronto. Um, but what ends up happening is, you know, after X amount of centuries, the bodies inside actually decompose. Okay. So there's actually no live bodies inside. And it's kind of amazing how archaeologists know where bodies are when they excavate. So essentially what happens is when the ash and asphalt, whatever it's called, like, you know, cover over all the people, it creates some efforts, but then inside actually are gone. Hmm. Maybe some bone fragments and left. And so what ends up happening is when the scientists come upon this mold, they're like, it's, they have the negative of it, and they fill it with cement. Um. And then that's what comes out, the people. But it's still amazing how they come through to the, the technology. Faces, yeah, it's very, like, very detailed, right? So on the first day of the ash falling or the volcanic eruption happening, I think by eight hours, the ash and all that soil risen to one meter high. Wow. And it's heavy, right? It's yeah. like all just the, it's not even like the molten lava coming down. It's just the ash coming. It's been it's a meter high and some people are trying to leave and some just don't want to leave. So they're in their houses and the tragic part is they go into their houses and then by the time they decide they want to go, they can't even open the doors. The trap. Because all that volcanic eruption stuff is now are swimming outside their houses and then death happens not because they run out of food and they're safe in their houses but the roofs actually collapse uh -huh. from the weight of that volcanic stuff crazy tragic so they said about about 1200 people died so not everybody died not of the 12,000 population so some people got away some people got away did some people stay there but still live no okay so it, they really had to like desert yeah. desert and they are saying that there's still 30 percent of all of pompeii that they haven't excavated and that's towards, it's still buried it's still buried it's towards the port towards the water so they're actually thinking is they're it gonna buried underwater find a lot more people there because that's the port of exit right yeah. and if they can't if there's nothing else between the volcano and the water where else can they go and then they're all buried and who knows if it's even like messy sort of like the the, the so what's in pompeii right now did nothing. they, re they re didn't rebuild a city i don't there? think so i think it's just um land like a museum too of oh. all the excavations right sort of like how is that wow. some place where you want to visit? If we ever go uh, to yeah, a lot of, a number of my friends have been. Joanna's been, Agatha's been, and uh, it's interesting, sort of like their life. Like you can still see like mosaics on the wall, and hmm. and a lot of people are still there, or their remained molds are still there, right? But for sure, yeah, we could. Totally Anything else cool at the museum besides the Pompeii? Uh, I don't. It's kind of X-rated. Right. Oh, in the museum? Oh, Pompeii. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the museum. No, then we just went to the other favorite places: dinosaurs, biodiversity. That hesitating. Was he scared? He was probably scared. Probably scared. You know, every time he like sees something, he's like a little scared, and then the next visit, he'll like, okay, let's now go to the mummy first. 
<laughs> because the last previous visit is like, ah, the mummy is so scary. But like always like with his next visit, he's like, okay, I'm ready for the mummy. Sort of like when we went to Philadelphia for that museum where they show yeah. all the different he wasn't uh, so scared of that. He wasn't. But now, like, when we're going to go to Philadelphia, he's like, Mommy, are we going to go to that museum where they show the bones again? Uh, so he's like, he's like, <laughs> I feel like he's stealing himself or he's like, talked himself into this process of yeah. like, let's let's do it. Sort so of like true. everything. Like the rides in Disney World. Speaking rides. of Mason, it's his birthday coming up it next weekend. It is. Weekend. So I'm like the mom that like does last minute invites. But we were able to secure Chuck E. Cheese again. Chuck E. Cheese for year number three. Yeah, year three number three. Row. Sort of like how he liked Toy Story for three years too. So it was like age two, three, and four. No. Oh, how many of, only a couple of his friends. Yeah, so summer is really difficult for getting friends from school to come. I already sent the invitations out right before school ended, and yet, you know, I, I've had like only a handful of them. No. RSVP, and most of the RSVPs are a no. Um, so either people probably lose them, or the parents don't even check their school bags towards the end of the week. So see. kids of our friends are coming. So. Yes, which is fine. Yeah. And uh, so he chose yesterday, we finally chose this cake, which is a minion cake. He didn't and want the Disney princess. Nope, not the Disney princess. There wasn't really a lot of like cake designs. My Little Pony. Nope, My Little Pony. No. There was Ninja Turtles. Um, he thought about the Spider-Man one, but it was kind of bland. So the minion cake, does it look like a minion? Or it just looks, has minion No, it's like characters. minion's character. Yeah, minion, minion's on the beach. Okay. And his favorite color is orange, so it's like quite festive. Oh. And now in terms, I haven't done what any flavor? of our... Uh, it'll probably chocolate inside. And then uh, I haven't done any of our goodie bags, so I was like just looking online today and I saw all these minion stuff so we can start building all these minion stuff. And he doesn't want Lego. He wants mag Magformers, which mag are these magnets. Are those transformers? No, mag they're magnets. They're just like different oh. shapes of magnets and there's like magnetized edges to them. And then you sell can that at Toys R Us? They sell them at Chapters and at um, Mind, hmm. Mastermind. Oh. And they're pretty expensive. Like a set with just 16 pieces is easily $50. So good thing I found a few sets from HomeSense, which is like a winner. And what do you do with these mind formers? You can create 3D shapes out of them. So like cubes, cars, oh. things like that. But I don't know. You'll see. He's been wanting them since Christmas. I forgot to give him uh, a set for Christmas because we already bought them so many toys for Christmas. They, they might just this. end up in those tubs over there eventually. I know. That's what I don't like. That's why I'd rather him get Lego so that you can play with Lego. That's really the strategy in telling people that you like Lego. So that's so, see how that goes. Yeah. And the last thing we did this week was someone brushed his teeth for the first time. Hayden. So Hayden has a lot of teeth now. He bites us. You know, and I'm like looking at his teeth and he does like a lot of sweet did stuff. Did he cry? No, he just Wait for babies, you don't use toothpaste, right? You just brush No, just brush with water, clean the toothbrush bristles again, brush with things. Just to get them, I guess, used to the toothbrush. That's a funny maybe. video. I saw that video. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. But yeah, he just gets his teeth and then we brush it and he's like, but he's still like, when I tell him, let's brush our teeth, I guess because he sees like me brushing, you know, Mason's teeth or Tristan brushing his teeth. So he's like, oh, what, what's happening there? I want to be part of this human activity of teeth brushing. And he but, gets excited. But he has a sweet tooth and he eats a lot and even milk is a sweet, you know, drink, right? Yeah. Lactose. So it's time that we scrub any kind of, I don't know, sugary residue off his teeth. So that's it for the week. Now, I already showed the Big Bang my moth, but let's yes. show some of Tristan's moth. Tristan is just getting more and more awesome. with This is probably the best one of the I bunch that I'm going to so. show. And this it's is Thor. Thor. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. I think it's good because of the conscious of colors, right? Yeah. Like, I like how he made the hair, though. Me too. It's like little and the girl, helmet. girly ponytail. Right. Braids, it's very yeah. colorful. And I mean, you know, the world of superheroes isn't very colorful to begin with. And then he even has a cape and his hammer. And he said he used like a part of the periscope for a hammer and a gun. And he has a nice smooth So now he's cape. getting a collection of all these superheroes. And he hasn't been breaking them to make other models. He, he said he wants to bring them to Philly Brickfest. Oh, so we will see them. So that's over. that. Then he made Ghost Rider. Yep. With the, the motorcycle, the motorcycle. There's lots of flames. How did he even get the eye flames? I didn't even know there was like an element. I don't like even that. know how he made this brick built skull. Skull. That's cool. It's just good. I don't That's know. like from the the new pirates theme, but he just used a lot of pieces here. Yep. Nice. Even with the teeth, he has little studs there for I the know, teeth. Because that's how a skull looks like. You need to show that teeth above it's the a nice mandible. motorcycle mm -hmm. from scratch. Nice. Because before he used to take existing vehicles and just modify them, but I think he built this from scratch. And then he has 
uh, the flaming head of with uh, the chains uh, there. That's cool. I like that. And then he made. Uh, I'm not sure if we showed this one already. Did we show this? Uh, Deadpool. I don't know. Well, this is Deadpool. Yes, he's missing his. Oh, his swords are on the back. His swords are on the back. Very cool. So I he was know, looking I at still, the minifigures. And you ended up have. buying him like a bunch of joints from Bricklink, right? Thank yeah. you again to No More Bricks for telling us which element numbers those are because we didn't know. He made this one, War Machine. I don't know War Machine. I have an Instagram. We have him up there. He's uh he's uh from Iron Man. He's the um, the friend oh. of Iron Man. Okay. He's up there. Okay. That's War Machine. That's cool. And then. I don't know who this guy is. He's uh, still working on him, I think. He says it's done, but it's supposed to be Beast. Yeah, see, that's a lovely Beast to me. I don't know how he's going to make yeah. it beastly, because he's just like, he looks just like a blue, a blue guy. Tristan character. But he, I was telling him he should make an axe, so he tried making an axe. But even the then, hair. like... It looks like Beast with a haircut. He's not so furry. He tried yeah. to make it furry by leaving the studs and not um, telling it, but... Yeah, he woke me up this morning to say, look, Mom, I made Beast. I'm like... Still a work in progress, but he thinks it's really good. Oh, I like it still, but yeah. um, and then he modified. Um, well, oh, what's this guy? I feel like we showed this he guy. He calls already. this Titan, the big guy with I, claws. The claws kind of gives so me huge. an eerie, it's so big, an eeriness to him. Here's the size comparison, <laughs> so it's, it's humongous. So that's that. Um, other things we made. What did he do with the Wolverine? He said he gave him like I human muscle. I didn't understand, but that's his Wolverine. We showed this one before. I like the Wolverine too. I get it's the color, right? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, distinctly. Well, I guess a lot of the boys people. made some Ninja Turtle sets. So here are some Ninja Turtle minifigures. You can show those. Why are you getting all these Ninja? Ooh, I like their shells. So here is one. I forget now the the who's who from, from the colors. But these are a bit different compared to the cartoon. So these are the Ninja Turtles from the movie. Whereas, what color are you showing right now? This was red. He has a red mask and he's a maroon mask. Oh, the guy with the blue. Oh. And so these are from the cartoon. So see the color. This is a bit of an um, olive green. Oh yeah, more realistic Compared turtle to like, color. The stark hunter green or green. I feel green. like these are two different. That's like a bright green, and this is a dark green. See, this is a bright green. Yeah. And that's a dark green. This is an orange guy with some chained nunchucks. Nunchucks. Yeah. Oops. So the boys built these Ninja Turtles. When did you get these sets? Um, a while ago. A long, long time ago. A while ago. I don't remember now. But the boys built the set. We'll do the review, and then they'll probably get to break it. Use the pieces. I'm gonna keep the minifigures. It's all about the minifigures. Spend oodles just to get the minifigures, which is. Cheaper than buying them from Bricklink, ultimately. But they're the collectors. And then, so this, these are some of the builds. You have this chunky um, vehicle. vehicle. He's broken. So the, the pieces, you get some nice olive green tiles here. Some pieces here, olive green. You get this other black vehicle here. Oh. I guess because the roof can come off. That's cool. It kind of reminds me of the A-Team. Yeah. The truck. Dun, 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 dun. And then That's you get cool. this big vehicle. Wow. You know, big I didn't thing. know you were such a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, Nick. I think this was when during... Oh, I know when I got this. It was when Target was going out of business. Oh. And they had the sale. When was that? Was it May? June? I told you. It was a while ago. A long time ago. When did that happen already? And so they had all these uh, Ninja Turtles on... Yeah. Like more than 20% off. 21. No. <laughs> hey, there's, so a, there's a girl in here. Don't That's April O'Neil. 
That's um. She's very chiseled. Look at her jawline. Who's line. that girl from Transformers? Uh, Megan Fox. That's Megan Fox. Look how chiseled her features are. So now we have a Megan Fox minifigure. Ooh, let's look at her beautiful face. So you haven't done her reviews yet? No, we haven't done this review yet. We're still going to do this. Woo! OK, so that's cool. Happy face. And uh, you have some drawings. I, didn't really, I haven't been able to draw as much as I want to. Why is that? I thought you had more. Yeah, I thought you had two new ones. Two new ones, but you know what? It's not to the capacity that I was able to before. I don't know why. See, I like how they make stuff like this, how it's all chunky and something with mini like houses, right? Anyhow, yeah. So I did two more Ninjago sets. I still have to still finish my Ninjago. Uh, finish my Inside Out characters. I still haven't done Fear, but maybe people are over Inside someone Out. Someone requested. Someone requested Fear. I saw that. No oh, problem. I didn't see it. So who's this guy? That is Zane, Zane, but it's not Air Jitsu Zane, it's Deep Stone. Deep Stone Zane. So I I like the color combination that he was at, this like glowy kind of green with the black, and then I did all these different Chinese characters to signify for courage and strength all around him, sort of like a as a background bit. And just last night, I did the figure for Cole. I'm still trying to maintain their Air Jitsu costumes. Um, and just looking for different ways to pose them without making it too caricaturish. So those are my two um, pictures for the week. I am hoping to start doing the Scooby-Doo uh, Lego figs. I don't know. I don't have any of the sets yet. We don't have any of the sets yet. Next time he's going to get them in clearance. Um, and then maybe go back to my superheroes. There's a whole plethora of superhero selections that I can draw um, on Inside Out. Um, I might do some Minions because Minions, the movie is out, right, Nick? The, yeah. the Minions movie. And Minions, I know. I think Mega Bloks is the owner of Minions. But I'm sure I can Lego five them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What else? So, yeah, Ninja Go. Ninjago. So let's talk about some news. Okay. Uh, oh, this I like. So the minifigs are coming out. Uh, season, series, what? 14? Um, 14. 14. And it's all like creepy crawlies, which is awesome because I love creepy crawlies. So here's some new pictures. And this is probably they... going to be my super favorite, which is the Banshee, right? So this is the Banshee. Awesome. I think she has a great figure. I like her hair piece already. Her haunting look of constipation but i don't even she's know she's crying yeah because banshees are crying they're like um they're like lost ghosts I like the hair piece that's what i just said they're like lost ghosts who've lost people and they just haunt the same place i'm not sure about this one this one creeps me out a little maybe the, that's the version to fly in the fly i think of uh the fly the movie with jeff goldblum he's the fly monster with oh. the, with the big eyes that looks cool not cute. Oh, he has like a little circle for a mouth. Like he's stuck in. Like a horn? Because he's a fly. And look, he has like two different claws. Mm. Lobster. He has a lobster claw. Gargoyle is cute. Gargoyle is cute. On uh, on mini, mini fig legs. He has... Horns and uh, wings, sort of like how gargoyles on buildings should look like. Thanks, too. That's nice. Frankenstein, overdone. Zombies overdone, but have we a got rock a, and roll that's zombie. A new, that's a new guitar, I think, though. And is that a new like leg with the metallic foot end? Yeah, but I don't think you'd be able to use that anywhere else. I'd wear it. But you'd be able to use that torso, I think. Actually, no, because the torso has some green on the top, unless you uh, have like a green chest. Yeah. See that right there. Yeah. Mad scientist reminds me very much of a minion. Don't don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I think it's the yellow. Maybe Looks I like can draw movie. him. He's cute. I'll draw him. He has the the splatter on his shirt. Are they blood splatter? Maybe you should draw some of these before they come out. Maybe. And then a bee fly. Draw some of these collectible minifigures. When are they coming out? Uh, supposedly um, September. September ish. Okay. September ish or, or um, October. The Venus flytrap already eating a minifig in there. So this is the uh, the plant monster with two vines. Oh, do you think it ate someone? Yes, it's eating someone. That's why that person is um, there with a scary look because it's already eating a person. I understand. I didn't. I didn't catch that. I and then we got 
the skeleton guy. I like guy. him. I like his uh, head. I like his pumpkin. I like his head. That's cool. And then we got the specter. Like a dementor. Like a dementor. Dementor. So you got you got that hoodie that we've got in so many different colors now, but I think this is the first time we get it in gray. Are you sure? What's a dementor? Black. All of them? I think so. Mm. Dark bluish gray. Like it's a rehash. And this is funny because it's Bigfoot, and Bigfoot is holding the camera. Usually, uh, people take pictures of Bigfoot, but he's it. gonna take pictures I didn't of you. That before. Oh. I just noticed that now. Yeah. And then we got oh, you like this one, the Spider Lady. You like the Spider Lady, mm -hmm. right? With the I think she's the only one with that triangle dress piece, so that would be easy to yeah to feel for. And then cat lady, or like from Josie and the Pussycat, or or it could be a girl in a cougar costume. So she comes with the Indiana Jones whip. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Oh, nothing. Just checking. And you're losing focus. You're losing focus. Oh. It's like fly on the wall. What? 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 And then we have, see. And then we have the the witch. wacky witch with a cat. I like her boots. Oh, she, no, she's a I bet you she would look good in that uh, Scooby Doo haunted mansion. I think so. Because it's in the same purple. Are you the mansion? The purple or just color. The vehicle. I want to get the. Because um, the mansion is exactly like the monster's mansion. I know. I want to get the mansion and I want to get the. Van. The van. Just those two. Because they would have the whole collection of the minifigs. So I, I checked online um, Lego Shop at Home, and all the Scooby Doo sets are sold out. Ah, it's gonna come out again. They're um, Don't well, they're, out they're, they're they're not sold out. They're uh, out of stock. Yes. So they're gonna be because uh, they were giving them for free to a number of a falls <laughs> Lego dot so, com. So they're so they're going to come back in stock. Um, don't think I don't know. Mid August. Hopefully. So here's the werewolf, and he comes with little Buskis's bone. Oh. What are you doing over there? Nothing. And then here, oh, More it says zombie. brains. Yes, I like it. Brains. I like his broken glasses. With a briefcase. Because he's cool. I couldn't make out what that, what his uh, newspaper said. Before. In the small uh, leaflet. But now brains. It says zombie, zombie times. And then more zombies. Everybody loves zombies because of. Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. Um, oh yeah, Fan Expo is coming up at the end. No, beginning of September. So we are going. So Fan to Expo that. is the Canadian Comic Con. Well, there's also Comic Con here, I think, but it's not as big as Fan Expo. Yeah, and so, there's gonna be a couple people from The Walking Dead, Daryl and um, the little kid, Carl. Yes. Plus the Lego. Last year at the and Lego all the section, female, and all the ladies of Doctor Who, but not a Doctor Who. Last year in the Lego section, we got. Um, we got TC14. Mm -hmm. So we're four totally going to line up. One for each of us. What time did we go? That was so fortuitous. And then here we got the zombie pirate. This zombie one's probably zombie. the most boring of all of them, I think. Why so boring? He comes with that beard that we've gotten before in the prospect. But I like his uh, torso design. It's still very nice. Well, that's true. It's still very detailed. Okay, that's and that's true. about it for those minifigs that we're going to get soon. Hopefully, you'll get our good feelers on. So here's something new that they showed. I just saw this from No More Bricks this morning. The so new box of Wally. So cute. I'm not okay. Wally movie just makes me cry, doesn't it? So if we have our, study. Our future, we have a small Wally that I got from the Brick Show. If our future is all about that, like we're not, we're so dependent on technology and we're not moving and grooving and so this is a small and wheelchairs Wally. because we can't move. So people get off. And so maybe off. see how the Wally here is holding the plant. I know. It's we so can cute. make him hold the small Wally. Oh, okay. And you got this from who? The Brick Show. And how did they get this? They they make them. Oh, maybe we should have them like a, a, a shrub right now. So here's here's another picture of Wally. So cute. And here's the back side of Wally. And when is he coming That's out? Big. They're not sure. They said. Um, is he from a Lego idea or just like Lego ideas? He is a Lego idea. So they think either September first or December. They're not sure. Ah, <laughs> That's quite a distance. Maybe get this but, December. Uh, Someone, Stuffing someone stuffer. from Korea was able to get this. So cute! I so love they, the eyes. So they, sad. Yeah, how did they make these eyes sad? They just tilted them. They just made it like this. They tilted them. Make sad eyes. All right, I just put my eyebrows up. 
Uh, oh, uh, so online, uh, there's some news. There is. Yesterday, or not yesterday, uh, Saturday. I'm not sure when it started because I watched it yesterday after it happened. Yeah. But Thick and Bricks, uh, Brick Revolution, and oh, yeah. Brick. Uh, brick or treat merged they merged and they made their own live stream called Holland and Ballin sort of like Brick Adjuster and Brick Zapper merged no but we've always been merged so th it's a cool live stream Holland and Ballin uh, they talk about all their Lego hauls that week they might even talk about some sets that are coming up and their thoughts on future sets stuff like that so it's pretty cool they kept it to one hour which is good mm -hmm. so nice and tight and so I didn't see it live. I, I just saw it afterwards, and it was good. I was just listening. Yeah. Um, another cool thing that happened. Another merge. Another merge, but this one is overseas from Norway, Norway and, and the London. UK. Maybe it's like merged this. together, and they created Brickview. Brickview. So this was Mike from Free Brick Friends. <laughs> We're um, full of bricks. All right. <laughs> we used to be called Brick Talk. Back but then in the day. somebody said, We're Brick Talk. And I'm like, We're Brick Talk. We can be Brick Talk too. If you look back, um, the At Brick Zapper's very first, uh, very first video. That's what I was all about. It was all about talking, talking, talking. And she then it's like, brick You can draw. And now I'm Brick Draw. She has, uh, I think she interviewed Darth Vader, if you want to see that. Um, and she even interviewed Batman. She interviewed Brickstar. Uh, Brickstar one time. That's right. Interactive. Interactive. So, so, anyways, um, so back Brick to, uh, View is Mike from Three Brick Friends and Kevin F. Kevin F. The original minifigure. So they're actually talking, talking, talking. And so they there? talk about their week, um, gardening, and I think Mike made like a table for his uh, winter village scene mm -hmm. and yeah. his jungle mom. And uh, Kevin F. is talking about this barn that he owns in Norway, which is like three levels high. And That's the, where he's going to put the, his the Empire second State and the third level are going to be just Lego pool. Like that beats our basement. It's huge. That's amazing. You um, have to go to Norway. They talked about some purchases where uh, Mike talks about he got this Technic oh, yes. boom buggy. Why did and he get so it? he wanted it just to, so he can learn how to build with Technic, which is cool. Yeah. Like the suspensions, the steering. Yes. And so I guess while he was building it, he was just making notes of all the little intricate stuff that Tristan probably just does. Puts together. I, don't, I don't know Technic. Tristan knows Technic. Um, and how does he know Technic if they don't even buy him Technic? Because a lot of the Lego sets come with Technic in it, the base, the mm. base of it. So uh, some of those Ninjago sets that he had before, more. we do. How do I get this on the mic? I uh, get uh, what's his face to draw. Um, get the bricks out to draw it and then print it out. Okay. Um, and also he gave us, they gave me a shout out. Oh, another news. Um, so the shout out was Beyond the Brick. Oh, yeah. Finally posted one of the interviews that I did for him at uh, Brick Fret Toronto. But there were two, right? There were two. But he's posted the... Um, Wizard of Oz one. The one over there, the Wizard of Oz. That was cool. And so Mike from Three Brick Friends and uh, Kevin Actually, F. Kevin F. who mentioned it. Kevin F. mentioned it, but it was on Mike's channel. If you want to check oh. out check out the Brick View on Mike's channel. They, yes. they alternate each week. So I think this week it's going to be on Mike's How channel. How do they do it? Because we get together in our basement this once it's a week. Weird. I don't know. See it. They have, so is it Skyping? They because have it's the cool. Screen. They have one window here and one window here, and they kind of talk. First I thought it was just they recorded it, but then they were talking to each other. The tea are waking up. Uh -oh. The team falls are waking up. <laughs> but they were talking to each other, so I'm not sure how that how they how they maybe it's all like it's a scripted? secret. It's the magic of scripted. Hollywood. They're like you say this and I say this and you say this. But they had I all the pauses and, like, and everything. But they're that good. Sort maybe. of like how us. We're like really here holographically. Maybe they I'm did maybe they had here. like a Skype going on plus the cameras on them at the same time. So they can hear each other plus they videotape each other. Yeah. I would do it like that. That's okay. the way I would do it. Did you just want to be part of their brick view? Is that why? No, that's that's their thing. Um, so they gave me a shout out. Um, so if you want to check out uh, that or even uh, Beyond the Brick, mm -hmm. Beyond the Brick is now showing a lot of the Brick Fat Toronto yeah, yeah, yeah. mocks. Yeah, he so actually did a whole a good of review of the entire. Yeah. Sort of like how the Brick Adjuster did a whole review of the entire. Oh, another <laughs> cool thing that I've been watching this whole week. Was uh, vlogs from Virginia Brick Fair, Virginia? Yeah, that's right. So Brick Fair, Virginia is another Lego convention, mm -hmm. and a lot of the tea falls in same, the Lego same community. Same people as the Philadelphia Brick Fair. No, it's different. People. Oh, Brick Fair, Virginia is, is huge, and it's it's um I know there was Brick Fair, Alabama, the one that yep. uh, Brick Star went Virginia? to. Virginia. So um, so I've right? been watching the vlogs by um, Lego Lord eighty two. That's Lego Lord eighty two. Yeah, he was on. Uh, he hosted. Did he host? I think he did. He hosted one of uh, the train wrecks. 
Oh. Or he was on one of the train wrecks. And then uh, Shotgun22SD, mm -hmm. who does a Brick Talk. He does mm -hmm. a Brick Talk live stream. So he's doing some vlogs on that too. Plus Lego, Pro Lego Buff Productions. Oh, cool. Who also was on the train wreck live stream as well. He was also on the one where I hosted. Yeah. Um, so they're doing vlogs every single day that they're there. So they're there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, wow. Saturday, Sunday, so five days. It's only ten and a half hours from us. How did you miss this? But it's uh, it's cool just to see how all the people are hanging out. Because yeah. they're all from different areas around the U.S., but then they all kind of merged. Similar to how at Philly Brickfest, all us AFOL YouTubers mm -hmm. have kind of merged. These are TFOL YouTubers. They're the future of the falls. Well, they've probably been around even longer than us, though. They, cause the I, past I, and the future of falls. I think since like 2011 or 2012. Since they've, they've been, been like, infants. They've been getting We together. have to get Hayden into Lego now. But some of the things they showed are um, they had this Halo mock that was a collaboration of all the different. So a bunch of T-Falls would make individual Halo yes, buildings. Yes. And then this one guy, I think his name is Sean. They, he put them all together. Oh, that's cool. Um, so that's cool. That's um, cool. August 1st was the first day that Scooby-Doo and Big Bang Theory was available for everyone at the Lego store. But we so didn't get it yet. So I heard on Saturday a bunch of people were at the Lego store buying things, and hence it's been sold out now. Other th other things, come out other things again. that are out of stock. Joker Land is now out of stock, which is the the DC. My oh yeah, okay. It would be a nice addition to the Fun House Escape. Yeah, see the Fun House Escape when I first got it was already on its way to be selling out. Hmm. How come it doesn't sound right? It's like I couldn't speak. Because it sounds like you're a sellout. But I mean, it's sometimes it's still around. I can I can still see it like in some Toys R Us places, or is it completely sold out right now? They tease us and then they release it. Like same with the big the Death Star. The Death Star, it's done. Thick and Brick says he still just there. Or, he just ordered the Death Star, but he's waiting it for it to come in. Still there. Someone in China is making it. The Death Star knockoff. The Death Star. No, the Death Star. Yeah, you're right. No, actually, Lego was saying that they're going to make all these different factories now out of Norway, from outside of Norway. Oh. So they'll have like a, an Asia one. The Philippines one. I don't know about the Philippines one. I'm sure it's going to be in China. And they're saying it's not because of cost, right, but it's because of distribution. So when it, it gets a lot more uh, high in demand around holiday season, so Christmas, it's harder for them to ship out to all of these different parts of the world. But if you have different lateral locations in different parts of the world, so one for Europe, so that's, I'm sure it's Norway, maybe somewhere in China, I'm thinking for Asia. And then who knows, there's like a North American factory on mm -hmm. the works. So it's easy for their stances of different, you know, ethnic backgrounds to deliver. And um, Ant-Man is also out of stock now. Oh, Ant-Man. And also the Carnage, the new Carnage set. But we know, we know that it'll be all coming back and will be in clearance soon at a Toys R Us near us. So the Winter Village set is set to come out soon. What do you think uh, it might be? Something with Winter? I know, but what, what, what's your guess? <sighs> Let's see what do we have. We ever had Santa's workshop already. Santa's I mean, workshop, yeah. How much more can they have? Well, according to the Brick Fan, he says that he it's, it's coming out in September, mid September for VIP. So early. And it's going to be a toy shop. Another toy shop? I know. I thought we got a toy shop already. We already have a toy shop. It's so Santa's it's, toy shop. No, like an actual toy shop. We got that one already. It came with, like, uh, they had the bakery, they had the post office, and then they had the toy shop. So are you going to buy it? If it's exactly the same toy shop. I don't, I don't think it's going to be exactly the same, same toy shop. If it's, it's a different be... toy shop, then maybe we can merge it to make a mega toy shop. Do you really need to merge two toy shops? Lego modifications. Everyone loves the Lego mm -hmm. modifications. But it's not a toy shop. Okay. So if it's going to come out in September, you know that the Winter Village is going to be around for a good two months. You're going to get it right away? Because it doesn't go on sale. Okay. But the, uh, what's it called? What's the thing that we get? Modulars. Advent calendar. We're not getting that until November. That one sells out quick. October. <laughs> I just cannot have Christmas in my house too early. We won't open them yet. They all find them. These people are getting better and better at finding them. Hey, look, we, we do have some people. I need to go to the gym. I know it says there. That's why I said T-Falls are written up. Oh, I never I never read this. I'm so so I, just, I just opened it up right now. And we have, Hang on. we'll do a couple shout outs. Hey, the Brick Artist. We Thank got you the for Brick Artist here. We got OBFD Firegrounds. <laughs> Kevin F. Good morning, Kevin Hello. F. Hello. 
Zaini. Hello, Zaini. Zaini says, uh, shouldn't you be working? And it is a holiday here in Canada today. <laughs> so we're not working. It's not It's not a holiday. Even if I wanted to go work, there's no patience for me to work It's on. not a holiday just because we say it's a holiday for us. I swear it's, it's a Canadian holiday all over Canada. Ask Medor's musings. It's a holiday. That's it. He it's didn't say holiday. anything. He didn't confirm. Yeah, Meter's Musing is here too. Meadows Musing is just <laughs> editing videos. And... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it for this week of Brick... Um, what do you call it again? Full of Brick? Join we us next... thought of Brick View. Brick View is an awesome name. <laughs> it's like The View, right? View. Why do we think... We should have called The Brick O. Like Oprah? Nah, nah. Oh, Bricks. Oh, Bricks is another one. Yeah. Or the morning bricks. Full of brick is good. Or the anytime bricks. Bricks anytime. Oh, I'm sorry, brick artists. I swear we're trying to respond. I'm bad. Like I forget that people could actually be watching this. And yeah, because we we really literally do this when I am able to put Hayden for a nap. Because otherwise, that kid is just <sighs> screaming. Okay, we're gonna head out. Um, it's a Canadian holiday. Thanks, Peter's music. I guess you you guys have can a see good that home Monday part. too. Uh, next week, I don't know, Saturday, oh, Sunday. Oh, so it's August already, okay. right? Yeah. So it's another month, it's crazy. We're almost back to school, but we're probably uh, looking forward to a school strike. So I don't know. That's what I hear through the grapevine of my teacher friends. Really? So it could be even an extended summer holidays for these people. So Lifetime better have all their programming in until then. I do have a couple of weeks off in September. But with it being August, we have to start looking to back to school. Stuff, sales. Tristan's like growing like a weed. Back to school shopping. What is that? That is, I don't know. Her basement's like reverberating. Someone is doing something. Take mine for Okay, okay. Uh, see you later. Thanks for Thanks watching. For Take, Take care. care. Bye bye.